wakes me up. <laughs> That's my coffee in my psychiatrist. <laughs> okay. I'm going to become a killer. Los Angeles, California. In a city notorious for drive-by shootings, a gun pointed from a passing car window causes heart-stopping fear, even if it only shoots paint. Four young men prowl the city streets, shooting video as they look for victims. Do you have any change? These guns shoot paint bullets, but their terrified targets do not know that. The intent of the youthful terrorists is clear. finally ends thanks to a passing patrol car, ironically caught in the attacker's video. I knew the tape would inflame um, the judge. It would inflame anyone who saw it. We see a lot of horrible things in this business. We don't often see into the minds of the perpetrators. So. The fright you'd see and the glee that they had as they were shooting these helpless people it was horrific. They want to look in the eyes and see the terror of somebody that they've hurt, and they want to go for the maximum amount of hurt. It's evidence of their blatant sadism. I understood immediately that the worst part about the tape is the hilarity. So the strategy was to counter the outrage, and we decided to produce our own videotape to show how my client was rehabilitating himself. So we shot him. Down the Museum of Tolerance. It really brought home to me that people can be intolerant with no good reason. Why wasn't Mr. Scoblar learning to be tolerant of other people before he got in trouble? The reason I made this tape was to demonstrate to the judge the sincerity of my client's remorse. The client is trying his best to rehabilitate himself. He's a kid. That wasn't funny at all, though. That was no good reason to hurt those people. Give me a break. I mean, this. This kid is going on videotape once again to use it for his own selfish, self-centered purposes. I mean, the first go-around was so he can get off terrorizing other people. I think it's ironic and twisted that he would try and use videotape once again to get himself off the hook. Do that, give it to me, damn it! It's the videotape that made it so outrageous. No one was willing to give these guys a break because of the hilarity. I think they should have done a year, but this judge sentenced them to four years in prison, and he did it because of the video. I just think this is really fun. <laughs>